Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I did a 10 day drinking ketone challenge where I drank one ketone package in the morning, ate a low carb diet throughout the day and drank another ketone package at night for 10 days and this video I'm going to show you what happened. My goal was to lose weight, mainly body fat, increase my focus and clarity and just have an overall wellness. So in this video, I covered pretty much preparation, how I drank the ketones, what I ate during the 10 days, exercise, and just the overall experience of drinking the ketones. So by the end of this video, if you like a link to the 10 day prove it challenge, I will place it in the description below. So, so if you decide to do this 10 day ketone challenge, some of, many of the things I did were not necessary. I went and purchased ketone sticks in order to check to see if I was in an acidotic state. I purchased a new scale that only, you know, that actually gave me 13 essential measurements, not just my weight, because I wanted to measure body fat and skeletal muscle mass and other features. So, definitely not necessary. But I did like the fact that the scale allowed me to track my progress. Okay, so I'm on my grocery store run right now. Um, I've come to pick up as many items I can that's low carb because I don't want to run low in the house of options that are healthy and are low carb and that throw me off. Weight loss is definitely a goal. That's definitely a goal. Those numbers on the scale are as high as they've ever been, but I'm not that disappointed in my size. So what I really want to do is uh, transform a lot of that fat into muscle or just tone it up, lose the fat completely, you know? So hopefully, the plan I have in place, I will continue, and I do have a lot of hopes for it, and I think it will work. Stay tuned. To change your reality, you must change your mentality. Just wanted to throw that in. So I truly was checking for carbs and sugar mainly. I was trying to make sure I kept my carb value down less than 19 grams per day and um, I really didn't measure too many other things like fat or cholesterol but you know health wise those are important to keep on the lower end of things but in this case my main focus was just a low carb diet. Some of the packaging, I have two flavors. I think most of them I have two, like two lime, two heart, heart, two everything. Um, today, my first day, I'm gonna start with heart, heart. And right now I am about to take a nap. I go to work tonight. So I'll do the caffeine free one because I'm just so excited about getting started. And then I'll take this one to work with me. We'll see how that works. Okay, wish me luck. So the days that I work, I would take the charge at night while I was at work 
and the days I was off, I would take the non-caffeinated drink during the night while I slept and the charge during the day. So all the flavors were really nice. Um, I did have my preferences. Uh, the Swiss cacao was my favorite overall. But um, the thing I liked about this pack, it did give you a variety where you could choose different flavors each day. And it kind of brought a little variety to the drinking of the ketones. Initially, it felt like I was tasting somewhat of an aftertaste, something like a electrolyte magnesium potassium aftertaste. But as I continued to drink, I kind of found it harder to notice that taste. I also became a little creative with drinking it. Um, I made like a little slush one day. Um, I even added some to my tea. It both both ways turned out okay. The slush actually was a little not as sweet as I thought it would be after freezing it, but hopefully I'm not killing any of the properties doing it that way. Hello again everyone. So today I'm still drinking my ketones. I put it in my water bottle today. So the thing is, um, I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have a drink today. So if I have a drink today, I'm sure that's not going to be good for my weight loss journey, my fat loss journey, or even my ketosis state. But hopefully we'll see. I'm going to see how far it throws me off. I'm going to use the ketosis sticks later and see how maybe not so pink it is again but it's okay i'm not worried i got this okay so this is one of the good things i like about the ketones um today i didn't have time to really do much this morning i woke up i fixed me a cup of tea and i actually added half the pack in the cup of tea um it was a heart tart flavor and i added half the pack in there and actually it was really nice it was sweet like a sweet fruity tart tea warm felt good and then so the other half I was rushing I was grabbed a water bottle cool water bottle out the refrigerator and poured the other half in the water so I'm getting my water it's um, tastes good still even half the pack in um, what's this 16 flu 16.9 fluid ounces it's still very sweet and I'm enjoying it so hey Stay tuned. We'll see what the end results will be with this challenge. But I, I, I like it so far. I definitely would recommend it so far. Well, I feel really well. I feel like I'm losing body fat, and that's a good thing. So, hey, let's keep going. So, this is what I ate. Let's see. A lot of salad. I didn't have any time frame either. I just ate. If I was hungry, I ate. But like I said, I kept those carbs down. Um, the diet consisted of a lot of avocados, a lot of fish, a lot of seafood. And I did more cooking than eating out. I did not worry about any type of portion size. I did not go hungry, okay? Let's just put it like that. So my adventure right now is to really try to transform my body, definitely get rid of a lot of fat, increase my energy level. 
So I did not do a lot of strenuous workout. Um, this day when I did the eight miles, it was only because I got lost on the walk. It turned into eight miles, but mainly I would do short walks, less than a mile. Also, just little ab workouts that one thing I have is a daily ab app on my phone. It's only 10 minutes. And you know, I would do that maybe in the morning once, not even every day. Uh, probably a few times I also found some really nice dance apps on YouTube that I would uh, work out to. So let's talk the results. Okay, I mentioned earlier the pink on the pink sticks. Okay, the darker the pink, the more acidotic my urine was. This was a urine test. Sorry, guys. Yes. Um, so you pee on the stick if you see how it became darker. I think by day five, I was at a more acidotic state um, compared to when I first started off. It was pretty much cream. And here we go. Started off at 175.4 pounds. That was on November 16th at 7 a.m. Now, this was the old scale. I didn't get the new scale till three days later. And on the new scale, three days later, I was already down six pounds, 168.6 pounds, which I did do a lot of pen. I'm sure it was a lot of water weight. Nonetheless, it looks good. I love it. I'll take it. So that's November 18th. And as you see here on the screen, my app was able to track my weight, which I love. So I started tracking my weight. That's three days in, and I was 168.6. So my 10 day results came on November 25th when I was 165.2 pounds. That's 10.2 pounds down. Now remember I told you, I just didn't want to lose weight. I also wanted to decrease my body fat and that's why I purchased the scale. So as you see in this picture, I went from 34.9, embarrassing, down to 32.8, yay! So some of the other things that the scale measured was the skeletal muscle, the visceral fat, and as you see, the scales were all going in the right direction. 10 days later, everything had improved in the right order, even this metabolic age. Oh. So 10 days later, I was still losing weight. I continued to drink one or two drinks, the ketone prove it drinks a day, and I would also still continue to do light workout. And I ended up 160 pounds, you guys. 10 days later, I was still losing weight. And that was amazing. Doing a simple, low-carb, light exercise and drinking my ketones. So besides the physical um, results, I was very impressed with also the way I felt. I felt like I had more energy. I was more motivated. And overall, just felt an uh, overall wellness. So mission accomplished. So remember, if it does not challenge you, it will not change you. So thanks again for watching another BHAB episode where I'm trying to focus on promoting being educated, healthy, and beautiful. So stay tuned for much more. And please do me a favor, please, and thank you. Hit the subscribe button and also share this with a friend or family. Bye-bye.